We now have the official response from a Georgia town whose police chief is under fire tonight following a deadly hit and run accident. Reveal investigator Faith Abube broke this story on Monday and she's here with what the city is finally saying about this Faith. Well, they say a little more than we expected, but they did not respond directly to the calls for the police chief to resign. And before we get to their statement, though, let's catch you up on our investigation. Ralph Dover hit Eric Keyes on his bike on Main Street in Cedartown back in September. Dover drove about a mile from the scene before stopping and instead of calling 911, he called Georgia House Majority Whip Trey Kelly. Representative Kelly, who's also an attorney, did not call 911 either. While Eric laid in the ditch dying, Kelly called Police Chief Jamie Newsom at home. While Chief Newsom did not send medical help either, he called his sergeant to go to check out the scene. Eric Keyes ended up dying. There are now calls for Kelly and Newsom to resign. And today the city released a statement expressing condolences. It reads, as with any traffic event of this magnitude, the incident was thoroughly and independently investigated by the Georgia State Patrol. The GSP investigation took several months, which is not unusual in a case like this one. Well, the city went on to reiterate that they have a belief in due process of law and to express their faith in the officials in the DA's office who would ultimately make decisions regarding prosecution. Okay, we should point this out too, folks. You know, since you released this exclusive investigation, a lot of people are sounding off. Uh, online and also on social media. Well, the community is really demanding accountability here. They want everyone involved to be held accountable. And within hours of publishing our story, the DA told us he's looking at who will be charged and with what. Okay, thanks a lot, Faith. We'll just have to uh, hang around and see what happens in the next few weeks.